Hey watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers, and today I have for us the new Breitling Super Chronomat in titanium. Just announced today, Breitling kind enough to get product out to uh, us as an authorized dealer here. I actually received this yesterday, it was under embargo, um, did not want to uh, film it um, until I had some additional specs on it, but now that it's been released that I've had a chance to kind of take a look online, obviously wanted to share it with you don't want to give you stock images or brand uh, photos. Uh, I want to give you the real deal here, product in hand, and uh, ask you what you think of the new Super Crown Matte Titanium. So, uh, again, case dimensions on this, I measured 47.3 millimeters. That is with this crown protector. So, still right above the crown with the crown protector, diagonally across the case at 47.3. Even 43 millimeters from the edge of the chapter, um, sorry, not the chapter, the rider tab here for the 15 to the rider tab at 45, so three to nine. Uh, again, even 43 millimeters. And then the crystal, very difficult to measure with those rider tabs, but I came up with about 33 and a half millimeters across the crystal from three to nine. 14.6 millimeters thick, 52.9 lug tip to lug tip. We have a 22 millimeter lug width on this Rolu style rubber strap. We've got a deployant buckle, exhibition case back, the in-house caliber B01, 70 hours of power reserve. And I've got to mention it tapers down to tw uh, 18 actually. So 22 at the lug, down to 18 at the very widest point of this strap, right above those lug, uh, right below the lugs here at the widest point of this strap, 25 and a half is what I measured. We have a signed screw down crown, 200 meters of water resistance, and this titanium case rubber strap option, 121.7 grams. I don't have the full titanium bracelet model uh, available yet. As soon as we get that in stock, at some point I will certainly review it as well. However, I did go back and look at some of my prior uh, reviews of the Super Chronomat because I wanted to see what the weight difference was. On one of the prior reviews of the Ice Blue Dial, I had that one weighed in at 168.9 grams. So if that's still correct, which I have no reason to believe that it isn't, you're looking at about not quite 50 grams lighter than the stainless steel option on the rubber strap. Um, so it definitely uh, a little bit lighter and, and as you would expect with titanium. Price on this one, on this rubber strap, 10,900. I did see the price with the titanium bracelet is 13,400. Uh, again, all the great same features. The dimensions were nearly identical to what the stainless steel option was when I went back through the prior video and looked at those uh, figures. So about the same. Um, so again, uh, if you liked the stainless steel and you want something lighter, a little bit more wearable, uh, this titanium version is going to be great. Uh, you do have screw down pushers for the chrono. So let's take a look at the bezel action first. Pretty good bezel action. You do have the ceramic bezel. You have a very nice, almost uh, vertical um, brushing on that gray dial. I really like the color combination of this. I think the gray dial, the black bezel, the black sub dials, you do have the snailing on the inside of the sub dials. Aesthetically, I love the color palette on this. I think it looks great. Admittedly, on my six and three quarter inch wrist, it's a little large. I'll throw it on here shortly. Let me show you the chrono. Love this blue second hand on the chronograph. You do have some of that same blue on your uh, chapter ring here. So again, aesthetically very pleasing. Let me throw this on again, a six and three quarter inch wrist. These rubber straps are extremely comfortable. I did not tighten it though, so I will pull this down here just to, again, Larger watch than I wear, the, the weight of this obviously makes it much more manageable, wearable in my opinion. However, if they ever made this in a 40 millimeter, if they got that B01 into a smaller case dimension, I would absolutely be all over this for my wrist size. I think this looks fantastic. Last but surely not least, let me hit the lights for you. Quick loom shot. As always, gang, greatly appreciate you viewing. If there's anything I can do for you, shoot me an email, brad at brentlmiller.com. 
obviously getting excited, getting ramped up. Breitling beating other manufacturers to the new releases next week at Watchers and Wonders. As I have inventory, I will certainly uh, share that next week. So please tune in and uh, hopefully we get plenty of stuff uh, as it's released. Not always the case, but if we get it, you know I'll review it. Thanks for viewing and we'll see you in the next video.